Taiwan Blue Archive is finally here. So I have already opened the display, the trial deck display that we got for Blue Archive. Unfortunately, no SP in that. But there is still some hope in the six booster box that we got today. Now I know that there are uh, 24 booster box in the case. This is the new format. Uh, I can't remember the ratio for Blue Archive, just like I said, the official launch happened quite a while back. Uh, only internationally, apart from Japan, most of the stocks got uh, delayed. And now we are only opening this Blue Archive in April, so I can't remember what's the ratio, but there are 24 boxes in the set. If we look at the average, uh, usually it is 3 SP per case. So we can expect maybe an SP in 1 out of 8 boxes, but we, didn't, we don't have 8 boxes today, but we do have 6, so... Hopefully that will give us a good chance of maybe scoring an SP. So anyway, for this set, there are no like SSP or SEC or anything, but there are 45 SPs. So there is an SP for a lot of the characters that you see in Blue Archive. Of course, some of them being fan favorite are going to cost a lot more. Uh, and some of the not so popular characters unfortunately won't cost as much. But hey, I mean, even if we can get an SP today, that would be really good. And now it seems like the box topper for all these new sets are going to be this either attacking first or attacking second card. So I think that's really very nice. It used to only be uh, one per case. I think having the box topper being this attacking first and second card makes a lot of sense. And they are really, really very nice looking. Okay, so yeah, let's get into our blue archive. Highly, highly anticipated set. So since I have stopped playing blue archive for a while, where I recognize the character designs, <clears throat> Unfortunately, I can't remember like all their names or something. I do still have some impression here and there, but like there's just so many uh, characters to remember. Like I know that her name probably starts with C, but I can't remember what's her name exactly. Like if you ask me, most of my memory banks went to uh, Azalin characters, and you know Azalin has a ton, a ton of even more characters uh, than Blue Archive. Then we have Nikkei also having a host of. A lot of characters and we just pull our first SR card. Very nice. Okay, wait, let me put this SR here. Attacking first card over there. Our rare and climax. So since the last time round I only got one box and one child deck from Japan, so we probably didn't get to see a lot of the artwork. I do expect to see a lot more of it today. So as I'm opening, I'm also trying to uh, refresh my memory a bit. Oh, but the climaxes look very good. Uh, on yeah, some of these characters, I think their character design definitely are very familiar to me. Just that I can't remember all their names. Also, some of them being actually on my team itself. I think her name starts with Y. Well done. My memory is bad. But anyway, that's our second SR card. Wait, this is Mika. I definitely have her in my team. She's a very strong meta character. I remember those angel wings anyway. So yeah, based on the new ratio, it's like probably... Uh, ooh, look at that climax. It's only two high rarity... Oh wait, only two or three high rarity cards per box. Suddenly I'm second guessing myself, but like I said, it's really late at night that I'm doing this opening uh, after a long day of work. So. I wish to say that opening boxes can be my full-time job, but it's not. So I'm already mentally trained after a long day of work, and the, this is the only time I can open some boxes is after my son has gone to sleep, uh, I've done all the chores, and yeah, doing this really late at night. So yeah, my mind isn't really working very well. But hey, uh, always opening some nice hits are a good way to perk up uh, and to end the day well, so yeah, let's see. Ooh, look at that. I always think the climaxes have really very really great artwork on them. Not to say that the standard cards uh, do not look good as well, but uh, I mean, in comparison, like the standard cards, just like very basic character portrait kind of stuff. But when you look at the climax, it's like, wow, those are fantastic, fantastic illustrations. So it does seem like maybe it's two high rarity cards per box. Oh, okay, no, it is three high rarity cards per box. It just happened to be in the last box. Okay, so minimally, if you don't walk away with a fantastic pool, at the very least, you will be getting three standard SR4 cards. Um, that's something, but I mean, 
Uh, lately we haven't been doing very well for our opening so I hope at the very least we can walk away uh, with an SP. I mean these boxes are really really very expensive so I'm hoping to at least carry break even or something. I mean I was totally crushed when we did our Nikkei opening and I didn't get an SP like I said. That was a series I enjoy a lot. I enjoyed a lot more uh, than Blue Archive. I mean, no offense to the Blue Archive fans out there. Uh, both games have their own merits, but I just uh, it's a personal choice. I like the gameplay of Nikkei more, and it takes a lot less com time commitment. And you know, being a, a dad now, juggling full time work, household chores, and responsibility for that, yeah. Uh, having a game that you can play with lower time commitment is always great and that's a fantastic looking SR card. So yeah, if you ask me in terms of time commitment, I do think uh, Nikkei does allow me uh, to spend less time on the babies compared with Blue Archive so I had to make the conscious decision to stop a game and unfortunately it was Blue Archive that I had to stop. Like I said, not that I didn't enjoy it, I do like the story, I do like the character design, just unfortunately uh, due to time I just can't uh, can't play all of these fantastic games. Double So yeah, we can expect three high rarity cards per box. So far only one came out of box number two. We still have four more boxes to go. And there is our second SR Bunny Go. So I don't know. Hopefully I mean, ever since the Uma Musume set where we have 9 SP in a case of 18 boxes, completely unheard of, I have never seen Bushi Road being so generous again. And this is a massive set. I mean, we have always seen you know things like Project Sekai, Hollow Life, Blue Akai Azerlin being uh, such massive set with so many different SPs. Okay, there's something different. There's a triple rare, and it's a triple rare climax looking very good. So, I mean, why can't it be as generous as Uma Musume where they, like half of the boxes in the case are SP? I mean, I don't care about value aside, but having half the case um, being SP, that would have made it such a fun opening. That's why Uma Musume, uh, well, the cut prices are not exactly on the high side, but it was such a fun opening where we were able to get uh, hits. Like, very nice hits. Uh, through like just not having to order like entire case so yeah, that was really a very nice series to open okay we are almost done with box number two so far nothing fantastic yet okay so i mean now honestly i know that this pack is a high rarity pack if i could market it as such you know I wonder how much people will pay, but I couldn't leave like knowing, not knowing what kind of high rarity card is in this pack. I mean, for all we know, it could have been an SP. Oh, wait a minute, I thought this was supposed to be the third high rarity card. Oh, we already opened three. I thought that we only opened two. Okay, my bad, my mistake. I thought we only opened two. So yeah, box two was actually essentially dead. Uh, I'm not sure from which point onwards I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> like I said, it's really very late at night, uh, not completely focused. But now we are moving on to box number 3. So we are opening 6 boxes today. So let's get our attacking first or second card. This is our attacking first card. Very lovely artwork on this. And yeah, let's start hunting for our 3 high rarity cards. I'm going to go a lot faster now, so I won't be like doing monologuing uh, to speed things up a bit. I will still speak a bit here and there, but I guess you guys are more interested in seeing the cards that show up rather than hearing what I speak, right? But anyway, uh, between all the games that, uh, you know, White Source, Rebirth for You, Build Divide, and then Union Arena, I mean, I have recently decided to get back into Union Arena again. My wall is actually crying. Uh, I actually do have to think about what are some of the sets I want to focus a bit more on. And maybe for the other sets which I'm not so interested in, maybe just open a token one or two boxes. Because I can't definitely like open like, you know, six boxes, ten boxes, uh, 
of every single series I will go completely broke well I do have uh, some disposable income I'm not that rich where we can open like case after case uh, of boxes every month so I do have to start thinking about how I want to uh, which series I want to go bigger into <gasps> okay we did pull an SP but yeah, I mean, if we could offset some of the costs uh, with maybe some nice hits, that would be great. Oh man, she is a really, really look brilliant looking SP. Look at her. Very, very nice clean signature, if you can see that. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, at least we got an SP today. I was very worried we wouldn't even get anything. Like I say, usually sets that I go a bit big into, uh, usually I end up with nothing. So that's why I was really, really worried when we were doing this opening. Since I have ordered way more boxes than I should have. Ooh, that's a very nice... Uh, swimsuit model. Is that is that Iroha? I can't recall. Like I said, all the names are a bit fuzzy to me now. I mean, as I'm opening, I'm trying to recall the character names. I have like too there's too many like animes, too many series, too many character names to remember that I completely forgotten except for the more iconic ones. So yeah, this is really like there's too many good stuff out there. Too many good games, too many good animes, and look at that, another fantastic looking triple rare, wow! So yeah, I just can't remember all of them. Yeah, for those of you who can remember the names of like every single character, every series, do let me know your secret, I need to learn from you. Maybe it's signs of aging I'm getting Oh, But yeah, my memory is not as good as it was. Okay, there we go. Uh, the third one being a standard SR, but I mean since we already pulled an SP, I wasn't expecting anything else from this box. So this is essentially a dead pack now. Okay, so now that we have seen most of the artwork, I think I want to go faster with the next box opening. We still have three boxes left, so if I go at the same speed, we will be here all night. So let's not do that. Rip the film off. Let's see which attacking first or second card do we get. It is an attacking first card. Ooh, she is pretty. Okay, let's go. This is box number four. Let's do a let's do it a lot faster. By just going straight. So like in double rare, we pull it aside. Pull our rest. Okay. Mm, that looks familiar, but we didn't put it as a triple rare, I suppose. So since the rare card is always in the same slot, that kind of uh, very easy for us to determine if, let's say, we happen to anything spicy there's no need to check any other uh, slot so it's always in the fourth card like this double rare and our rare is always in the second last slot uh, so far I don't think in white shows there's anything like you know in Pokemon or something where they have a dot pack where every single uh, card is a spicy hit so yeah I doubt the white source has ever done anything like that but that would have been such a cool, imagine like you open a pack and every single card is an SP. Now all we are looking for is the fourth slot to see if we manage to get anything good at all. One more high rarity card, double rare. So one more high rarity card we needed to find from box number four. Double rare. Okay, so is this a, a high rarity pack then? 
Okay, so if this is a high ready pack, then we should do this for the suspense. One, two, SR. <laughs> so it was a high ready pack. Okay, so box four got nothing as well. First card again. First pack we got our SR already. But if it's really 3 SP per case, then I think we were very fortunate to even have an SP today. So yeah. Uh, like I said I completely forgotten the ratio so do let me know in the comments again I said sign of aging I'm getting oh my memory is failing me trying to remember all the different characters across all the different anime series games whatnot you know yeah I don't have the capacity to remember all the details anymore okay so far one high rarity card is out two high rarity card is out that's a very nice looking SR card look at the background Okay, so we can still expect one more high rarity card from box number 5 And we are already at box number 5 I look at our stack of rare cards That's really a lot Double rare Ooh, very nice looking swimsuit We put another fantastic looking SP, man, look at that. Wow. There we go. Man, this feels good. What a way to end the night. Okay, now I need to have a different space for our SR cards. Double rare, no standard rare. Double rare. Okay. Man, my stack of bulk is getting higher, higher, and I'm running out of space uh, for this opening. Okay, final box, box 6, but so far we already did very well. So yeah, let's just see what else can come up. Ooh, she's spicy. Attacking second card. Okay, final box, box number 6. Double rare. Three high rarity cards. There we go. SR. Get our rare out. Two more high rarity cards to find. Okay, nothing in this box. Triple rare. Woo! Fantastic looking triple rare. Look at that texture, man. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Uh, we already pulled our three high rarity cards for this box. Those were the three we pulled, right? So yeah, nothing else in. Essentially, these are all date packs, but you know what? Why am I going to do date packs, right? I'm just going to open all of it anyway. Still getting to see the double rares are good. So yeah, let's just do that. I mean, if really it's a 3 SP per case kind of situation for us to even pull 2 SP out of 6 boxes, I say we do very well. 
because the standard ratio should have been one. Ooh, that's a very nice double rare. Was that like the first one of her that we pulled? Like if it's a 3 sp for this kind of situation, the ratio should be more of like one out of eight boxes, but we somehow managed to get two in our six boxes, so we definitely went ahead of the curve. Provided, yeah, that's the ratio that I said. Uh, been a while since the official release, uh, so I kind of forgot what the ratio is supposed to be like but nonetheless very happy with our openings today ratio or not uh, getting an SP is always a good feeling okay let's open our final pack then we can tidy up our area and we can go through some of the foils that we got today okay let me tidy up this area so yeah we do have quite a number of double rares actually look at that stack uh, our rares let me put all this aside so we have more space so anyway for our foils i mean personally i think all these triple rare climaxes really looks very good not to say that the standard s are not good i think they have their own first they have all their own unique texture and everything so they are beautiful in their own rights but dang look at this triple rares these triple rares uh, really have like have their texture stand out a lot I do like this a lot more compared to the SR cards but I still say that the SR cards do have really very nice texture going on in them so all these are still nice in fact I do like all the foils we got today so we did have four triple rares very nice but apart from that we managed to pull two SP so of course our first SP over here is of Big Shun I mean the game that is Big Shun and Small Shun, right? I always uh, yeah, know them by that. So we have a very nice SP of Shun. I do like her signature a lot in case you guys can't see clearly. This is how it looks like. Very nice. And of course, this is going to be a very, very popular uh, character. This is like Swimsuit Hoshino. Also another meta character in the game. I do like her signature a lot. So yeah, very lucky for our opening today. We somehow managed to pull two SPs. So for those of you who have pre-ordered and still waiting on your case, uh, your case, your boxes, I do wish you guys all the best. Hopefully you can get some luck as well. I personally like opening this blue archive a lot. Like I said, I mean, I would give it a choice. I would like to do more Nikkei, but still blue archive is a series I do enjoy. I only wish I have more time to play the game. So yeah, anyway, for those of you who are new to the channel, we open all the new stuff for White Source, Reaper for you, and Build Divide. Of course, the best way to see it first is through a subscription. Remember to turn on all notifications, and we will see you all next time. Bye now!